Now, we have an amazing tale of uh, rescue for you now. A chef for an oil company who became trapped in a boat at the bottom of the sea for three days. He survived in a small air pocket drinking Coca-Cola. His rescue came down only to chance when he responded to the distant sound of nearby divers. The rescue took place in late May, around 30 kilometres off the coast of Delta State in southern Nigeria. A tugboat with 12 people on board was working near an oil platform when it hit difficulties. Just before 5 a.m., it capsized and settled around 30 meters down on the bottom of the Atlantic. Now, amazingly, one man, Harrison Okene, survived in a small air pocket in the boat for three days, even though the boat was under the sea. And he was found after banging the side of the boat when he heard divers nearby. Ten of his colleagues died. One is still missing. Well, let's uh, just tell you what Harrison had to say. He said, I was so hungry, but mostly so, so thirsty. The salt water took the skin off my tongue. When I'm at home, sometimes it feels like the bed I am sleeping in is sinking. I think I'm still in the sea again. I jump up and I scream. He must still be just in amazed that he has actually survived this experience. Well, let's talk now to Jed Chamberlain, who works for DCN Global, who led the rescue operation in Nigeria. He joins me from their office in Abu Dhabi. Jed, thanks so much for being with us. This is such an incredible story. Tell us what your divers were expecting when they first went down. Well, they're expecting it to be a body recovery job. Unfortunately, we do this from time to time. And they had 17 hours to contemplate uh, the work they would, they would need to do when they got to uh, the site of the, the wreckage. Um, uh, obviously, absolutely delighted that we, we found someone alive. Uh, and uh, Mr. Mr. Harrison actually grabbed the second diver that came past him. He, he missed the first one. Our divers have lights on their helmets and cameras, etc. And as I said, he missed the first one and he grabbed the second one. Needless to say, the diver got, uh, got a fright. And uh, when we heard that, that certainly in the office and, and the marine crew, when they heard they had found someone alive, it changed the whole nature of the, of the operation to a rescue operation and was certainly very motivating. You don't hear about stories like this uh, very often. And Mr. Harrison, when he came up, what did he have to say? What was his reaction to everything? Well, amazingly, he was, he was very calm. Uh, we, we had to teach him how to use a diving helmet to recover him from the vessel and into the uh, diving belt and back to the chamber. And he was absolutely very calm throughout the whole process and very calm when he was in, in the chamber. He was in the chamber for two and a half days before he could walk out uh, onto the deck of the vessel. Yeah, just Jed, tell us a bit more about that, why you had to go through that process with him. Well, he had been at depth for 62 hours, so he was ingassing uh, nitrogen, which is not metabolized by the body. So it builds up in tissue. And if you release pressure, in other words, you ascend to the surface, when you've ingassed excess amounts of nitrogen, it forms bubbles in your blood and it can stop the blood flow to the brain and vital organs and can result in, in death. So what we did is we treated him as if he was one of our divers and we, uh, we managed the environment uh, in the chamber and gradually released him from pressure. Uh, we also adjusted the, the, the volume of gases um, that he was breathing when he was in, in the chamber so that he would outgas and get rid of the excess nitrogen in his body so he could walk uh, out of the chamber. And Jed, you mentioned that moment where your diver got such a surprise. I mean, it must have been that in, in, absolutely incredible to have heard him, Mr. Harrison, in there. How did he manage to survive for so long? Uh, well, obviously drinking uh, Coca-Cola um, and keeping calm. Uh, also, it was cold and, and dark uh, at the bottom of the ocean, certainly, and being cold uh, certainly helped him. Uh, we think he would, have, he would have probably two days to go with the, with the volume of gas that he had at that depth. Jed Chamberlain, thank you so much for joining us with that incredible story. And stay with us for our next edition of Impact.